the stars don't shine, they burn actually. <laughs> so burn for once and then you will shine. <laughs> so today I'm with my neighbor, Aisha. I'm gonna make coffee. Not so good, I think. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So ever since I moved to London, I've uh, made some friends. And Aisha, she's studying to become an excellent architect. Hi, I'm Aisha. She's one of the first few friends I made in London. And we arrived in London around the same time. I can see that she has changed a lot. And I just wanted to do this kind of ask your friend kind of video. Yeah, knowing people like Aisha, uh, much younger than me, but I can see that how people can change and also remind myself. We're always evolving and we're always becoming the best self. I remember how you were like, like a year ago. So today I'm just gonna ask a few questions on behalf of your old self. The Aisha who just arrived in London and see what kind of advice you would give it to her. Shall we? Yeah. Yeah. So Aisha, what's the most important piece of advice you would give to your old self when you arrive in London? I think don't question always what is normal because you will see different people, different things and new ideas. Always be open to listen, to learn from everything and to get the most of everything. When you say that don't question what's normal, what do you mean by that? Because when I first came here, it's just so much different from my country. So I wanted to adjust and to see where would I fit. I'm not sure. I started questioning myself. You try to always adjust to other people's norm maybe. instead of being yourself. Yeah, and I was thinking that maybe what I was used to do is wrong. So I need to do something else. But just be yourself and don't try to question yourself. I think maybe it's the same for everybody because when you first move to one country you always wanted to adjust to the norm which is kind of normal like you wanted to be able to fit in and but then I think your advice to your old self is be open to what's the norm and understand and observe but also keep true to yourself to who you are and so that you don't question yourself on every single thing exactly yeah so about this belief of don't question what's normal and just be yourself. It might not be a belief that you could just come overnight. How did that idea come in? I think it's just very important to step out of your comfort zone. Thinking about the comfort zone, I think at one point you'll be in the borders of these comfort zones and this is the most difficult. I was like literally shaking, crying, but just keep going and after crossing these borders, I think you will break it and if you break it once you will break it forever you will be much happier after crossing these borders and they say always like the stars don't shine they burn actually oh, so wow. yes so burn for once and then you will shine what i hear aisha say that it's really liberating because and sometimes I will be inside of my comfort zone and I wasn't able to push myself. But after so many years of pushing myself, I wanted to influence other people to help them to understand that they can actually do that for themselves. We chatted so many times and I, I think at some point she finally figured that out. And just now when I hear her say that out loud, it is really a statement of everybody, like all of us trying to, to be our better self and how we navigate life, how we improve ourselves. It's very difficult if we restrict ourselves in a box, in a comfort zone. Luckily for us, because we move from somewhere else to a new country, it's, it's more or less depending on how we treat ourselves. But sometimes if you're in the same country or in, with the same group of people, in the same culture, for so many years, you might not able to have the chance to break through that comfort zone. And at that point, I hope that maybe our chat can help you a little bit. You, you can just convince yourself, you can actually do this. You will be able to step outside of your comfort zone, like Aisha said. I'm still actually trying to cross these borders. Sometimes I'm shaking and sometimes cry sometimes. But at the end, I think you just keep going. So I think every single time where you push your border, your comfort zone become a little bit bigger. It's always helpful that you get 
comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah. So you're always at the border. One day you figure that your, your world is so much bigger, and your possibility and your opportunities in life are so much bigger. Yeah. And also, don't be shy embarrassing yourself. I just remember that once I embarrassed myself, and I told that to my friend, and she was like, Yeah, I'm glad for you. You embarrassed yourself. It's better than being bored. <laughs> yeah, it was once when I went to karaoke with friends and I s start singing for the first time in front of other people. And I was just so embarrassed about this. And she was like, Yeah, I'm glad for you that you're embarrassed. Like, at least. I used to have that period of time of my life. I think about everything, everything I would do. I was like, what if I do this and it looks stupid? But at the end of the day, I think nobody else actually care about ourselves more than ourselves. And also, if you look at our life as a story, right? What kind of story you want to tell yourself? Whether it's embarrassing yourself. First, who cares? Second is embarrassing ourselves is sort of another kind of story. You learn. We will learn. So it actually leads to my next question. What are some of the final words that you are going to give to your old self? I want to tell her to always be thankful. I learn to be thankful more these days because you need to give credit to yourself, to your old self, to the people surrounding you, to find the right people and the right place. Try to find the place that you will grow. Not, yeah, grow. grow exactly. Thank uh, you, Aisha. I just want to say that, oh, really. Th thanks, thanks to my old self, thanks to Lydia, thanks to my family, friends. And, yeah. I think it's for thanks to your old self who actually make you who you are today, right? It's who you were back then. Today. Exactly. I'm really grateful that I have friends like Aisha that we can actually share some of our experience on this channel. What you said is also valuable to your own self, I think. Every experience is a learning experience and you learn simply by living, right? Yeah. You learn simply by making mistakes, you learn by embarrassing yourself, you learn by cry and smile and laugh and you know doing stupid things and that's part of the life also why we're here today talk about this also thanks Aisha to be part of this I hope that this little video can help whoever who's watching this video a little bit and if you're trying to make some decision if you're trying to make some changes in your life don't be afraid try to listen to yourself what's more important what's your comfort zone what kind of life that you want to have so that's the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoy. If you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. And let me know what kind of other topics that you want us to cover. Want me to interview more of my friends and on different topics, let me know. And I'll see you next time.